What's going on, everybody? We are uh, back in the the old format, the, uh, the the no overlay format for tonight's break with the uh, the back to back 2022 Bowman and the 2023 Bowman draft. Uh, didn't have time to make the side scroll, so we're going uh, old school today. Let's see. I'm going to drop in the uh, – first off, I'm going to drop in the information for the eBay sweepstakes, and then I'll drop in the leftover players. Looks like we pretty much have everybody paid for tonight. One leftover order. Let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me. Hey, there we go. What's going on, Matt, Chris, and Derek? I uh, just dropped in the information for the eBay sweepstakes if anybody is interested in joining that. Uh, curious if anybody has ever joined the eBay sweepstakes. So if anybody has joined the sweepstakes, curious to hear stories about that. Um, let me drop in our Facebook group info next. Uh, for now, we are continuing to run some team breaks through the Facebook group. I know Brian's been running a couple in the last couple of weeks. Um, we may actually... A uh, little early teaser be shifting the Facebook group over to another platform that we're going to work on creating uh, a more collaborative community store type thing. So for those of you guys who are in the eBay, I mean the uh, the Facebook group, I'll be giving uh, more more details about that as we get closer to potentially launching something bigger than uh, than currently are just our Facebook page that we have right now, which. Link is in the chat. What's going on, Vin? How are you? And let's see, what else do I have to drop in? So let me drop in the leftover players for tonight. So we have them broken down into lots. For anybody who's interested in picking up additional players, I could I could put our face, uh, not Facebook, our PayPal and Venmo information into the chat for anybody who's picking anybody up. Um, first lot available, seven spots for $7, is the first auto onlys. So we have one, two, five, five chances to hit any of those seven guys with the uh, five autos in the break tonight. Then in addition to that, we have 21 spots of prospects that are not first in this product. Uh, Darren getting in, in just ahead of Chris for the, uh, uh, the first auto onlys. Ooh. YouTube did a little upgrade in their chat functionality since the last time I've used it. So uh, dropping in the list here that we have of the prospects. 
Like I said, this one is 21 spots for $15 total. These are all non-first prospects in this product. Then I have pros and rookies. So the pros we did a little deeper discount on even. And the pros, we have 15, uh, 14 spots for $5 total. And finally, the rookies, which is 13 spots for $7.50 total. So let's see our rookie list, Alejo Lopez, Edward Cabrera, Gavin Sheets, who has had a pretty nice couple of seasons to start off his career. Hoy Park, Jose Garcia Barrera, uh, Josh Lau had a couple nice years as well. Josiah Gray, Lars Newtbar, uh, Nick Prado, Otto Lopez, Rodolfo Castro, Seth Beer, and Shane Baj. Joey taking the rookies. So Joey grabbing the RC spot. And that is seven fifty. Chris grabbing the pros. Uh, and for those of you who grab spots, our Venmo, since I don't have it in the top left corner today, Venmo is hot ice breaks at gmail.com. And the PayPal. is hot oh sorry the venmo oh god ignore that the venmo is at hot ice breaks venmo is at hot ice breaks and the paypal is hot ice breaks at gmail.com Let's see, Darren, I got that from you. Thank you. Let me mark it down in our spreadsheet as well. Pros, we had Chris grabbing the pros. For five dollars, we have some college basketball tourney prep on in the background. Christopher got your. Venmo, thank you. And Darren got your payment. And Joe got your payment. So the only thing that is still left available is the prospect lot. Again, that's... Uh, 21 total prospects for $15. I'm going to drop that back into the bottom of the chat. Some pretty good names in that list. Although, again, these are non-first for the remaining guys. Um, let's see what else. Let me just refresh one more time, see if we still have anything unpaid for. Looks like we're good to go. All right, we only have the two hobby boxes here. So no, uh, from the hobby boxes, those are the two that we're going to be opening up tonight. And then we have a brand new just opened case. Had to open it because I had to use the box to send uh, some car some of the paper cards from last week to the all paper lot owner from uh, our 23 Bowman draft break. But we have eight jumbos here to choose from tonight for our three box. I mean, our, our three auto box.
Let me drop them in the screen. All right, so there is our full case of jumbos. Let's see, three autos per box. So we're going to choose from those. I'm going to go down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First person to list a number between one and eight in the chat can choose which one of the jumbos we're going to open tonight. Seven. Brandon getting right on that. Oh, and Chris agreeing and Derek agreeing. That's Hopefully that means we're going to uh, – Everyone pick the right box. See, three, three out of the first four people picking seven. Hopefully, hopefully that means something. Um, all right. And I think that's everything. So, Excited to be ripping 2022 Bowman for the first time in a long time. Probably one of the best uh, Bowman releases in the last three years, I'd say. I'd also say that whoever took Ellie tonight, I feel like you got one of the best deals in a break that I've seen in a long time. Ellie only going for $160 is basically like one, one PSA 10? No, I guess two, two PSA 10s or two, two base cards already possibly puts you over that, uh, that buy-in price. So uh, a lot of upside on that Ellie spot. All right. Do we, let's, uh, let's start with one of the, with one of the, the hobby boxes, sorry. And then we'll switch it up or and then I'll let you guys choose actually after that. So starting with, one of the one autos and then I'll uh, I'll put it on you guys to see what we want to finish off with has uh, has everybody been paying attention to all of these futures prospects games going on this week I only watched the uh, entire Mets Nationals game Ryan Clifford looking real good in that one let me grab a bag for uh here. Let's see. Chris, you watched the big one, the O's Pirates game. I think I heard that uh, Skeens fanned. Did he did he strike out Jackson Holiday in that one? Or did Holiday get to him in that one? I can't I can't remember because I know they faced once already in the spring. I did I also saw in the highlights that Wyatt Langford hit a grand slam in his game. I haven't seen anything from the Saturday Sunday games though. Been uh, too dialed in on all this college basketball. Let's see. Somebody watched them because the the guys that balked out went four or five times normal, really. The guys that balled out. Um, I was I was watching uh, I was watching the Met national game and I was texting Brian and I was like, we we messed up. We should have been at these games. I can't believe how empty most of the stadiums were for these games. I, uh, I I think if they continue to do this, which I imagine they'll continue to do this next year, that uh, I'm going to try and get down to either Florida or uh, Arizona to check out a handful of those games with Brian. All right, starting off the Chrome hits for tonight, we have a Virtuosic Vibration Gyra Pomaris. So that one is first card of the break going to the prospect lot, which is still available. Scanning through our papers, all papers will ship in this one. We have a Zayed Salinas and Ian Lewis first to start the break off tonight. And as usual, we will sleeve up all of our first chromes and uh, all of our big hits. And if there's anything that you guys see that you want me to sleeve up that I don't sleeve up immediately, let me know. 
I think we still have a month or month and a half until we get 2024 Bowman, if I remember correctly. And we have our first auto on the board in pack number two. And uh, we're starting off in a, with a pretty nice one. Jose Ramos, one of the prospects climbing up the Dodgers organization, getting a base auto. Forgot Oswaldo Cabrera was in this one. Carlos Aguiar going to... Uh, no, Carlos Aguiar was owned. <laughs> and Marco Luciano. Nice start for whoever picked up Jose Ramos tonight, getting an autograph in the second pack. So our auto is out in this one. Still should have some color coming out. And uh, we'll see We'll see what kind of refractors we're pulling here. Sedan Rafael hit one to the moon in his game. Also found out from your son that Jonah Cox was traded to the Giants. That was That's quick. Do you know what? who was part of that deal? We have a Diego Cartaya. Cartaya, another Dodger prospect currently, at least, getting a top 100 insert. Junior San Quentin and Peyton Wilson getting Chrome Firsts. Doing well getting our first on the board quickly tonight. Sedane, no autos in this, says Darren. I think that's correct, if I uh, if I remember. Shane Baz, Bowman in 3D. Looks like they didn't bring this insert back for another uh, for a second year, which I like the autographs in this insert set, but besides that, these didn't really do much for me. Don't, don't hate that they didn't bring those back. Luis Gonzalez, and there's a J-Rod on the board. We'll definitely sleeve up our J-Rods. Ross Stripling was uh, who uh, Jonah Cox was traded for. I was trying to look up where some of these guys are in their uh, in, in their team, like top 50 prospect ratings. And uh, it, it was tough because I wasn't sure if I was looking team by team, who's still on their current rosters. I know a lot of these guys move around in the minors before they make it to the majors like Jonah Cox. We have a rookie of the year favorites, Brandon Marsh. Double Colton Kowser papers. Alvin Guzman and a little bit sticky back there, Jordan Walker. So nice name there. We got Jordan Walker and we have, J-Rod on the board already with their prospect chrome cards. Blaze Jordan, high five futures. We have Simon Muziati and another nice prospect card here with Bobby Witt Jr. So a lot of good names in the, in the non-first prospects in this product as well. Guys who are already making an impact at the major league level. Let's see. So we have our auto out. I would assume we have at least one color paper, one color chrome hit coming. And I can't remember what other refractors came in the 2022 boxes. Rookie of the Year favorites, Wander Franco. That one didn't age well. Luis Verdugo and Michael Triana. We have a Brian De La Cruz, like always. There's our first Ellie. Let's sleep up the Ellie. Isaac Pacheco and Harry Ford Chromes. Ellie on the board for the first time tonight. In paper. Even his papers sell pretty well, though. Is there a good place to find the box scores from the uh, the Futures games? It looks like we have an Atomic coming up here. Um, I was having trouble finding uh, the box score from the Texas game when I was looking on Friday. We have a Brett Beatty top 100. We'll see how that one ages going into the second year of his career. We have a Bre uh, Benjamin Bailey and an upside-down Atomic 
non first of Alexander Vargas. So our second hit of the hobby box, Alexander Vargas with the atomic. J Rod Bowman in 3D. Two J Rods on the board now. There's our first Jackson Churio. We'll sleeve up that paper as well. Ronier Quintero and Eriberto Hernandez. About halfway through the first box of this break. Let's see. Got the Atomic Vin, getting the uh, Atomic Alexander Vargas, getting our second hit of the night. Luis Rodriguez, Virtuosic Vibrations. We'll see if he can improve on his numbers this year. We have a Jonathan Classe, who I saw him play, and I think Classe is actually the pronunciation. And we have a first of Dory Lorenzo, refractor numbered 254 of 499. So a numbered refractor here. So three hits out. I think we should still have at least a paper hit. And if I remember correctly, we, there, there might be multiple refractors in the 2022 hobby boxes. We have a Benny Montgomery Hi-Fi hi Futures, another insert that didn't come back, and I don't think we missed it all that much. Junior Sanchez and Maximo Acosta. Passing the halfway mark. We have a Hunter Bishop top 100 prospects. I don't think he's in that list anymore. We have a Braylon Minier and behind that Diego Velasquez. I think Velasquez might not be on the Giants anymore either. I think he might be on the A's if I remember correctly. Let's see. Let's put the KC game on in the background for now. Looks like this is not a futures game. We have our Gabriel Arias Invicta hit. See if Arias gets another shot at the majors this year. We have a Victor Lizarraga and Kevin Alcantara. Lizarraga is in the in the teens in the Padres organization now, which the Padres have a decent organization, so that's not bad. All right, so our Atomic on the board. That one opened up a little weird. There we go. Our first Otani on the board. Gavin Sheets going to the rookie spot. So the rookie spot getting some Chrome, rookie of the year favorites. We have a Diego Cartaya and an Emmanuel Rodriguez, a guy who's been selling pretty well leading up into the season this year. Seems like there's some demand for one of the top prospects for the Twins there. Luis Matos and Nick Gonzalez, another guy who sh you would think should get a shot at the major leagues again this year with the Pirates. Brief stint up in the majors last year. And we're going to get an orange paper. All right, Nick Prado, top 100. Sawinski, Salas, and Yoendrick Panango. Panango, number 11 of 25, orange prospect, non-first there. Jose Pastrano and Eduardo Lopez. We uh, have the sirens going off in the back. New York City sirens this time only brought us a Yoendrick Panango orange, sadly.
But orange on the board. Anybody anybody know anything about Penango as a uh, as a prospect in that organization now? I feel like there was some uh, some hype around him for a while, but I haven't really heard anything about him for uh, a year or so. Although I'm assuming he's still pretty young. Carlos Colmenares, high five futures. Speaking of a guy who's very young, who we haven't heard too much about in the last year or so, Brendan Jaraba and Adley getting Chrome hits. Oh yeah, the Thorpe trade. I uh, I actually like that trade for both teams. The Padres are dead. Team, I've said after uh, after trading Thorpe. Yeah, I um I feel like. Them getting Cease, I mean, I don't think they're competing for much this year, but at least it gives them some possibility. J.J. Blade, number eight prospect. Things Speaking of things that didn't age well, Estevan Machado. And there we go, Ellie on the board. Ellie Chrome first on the board. So we have one paper and one Chrome Ellie on the board so far. That nice value there for the Ellie spot. Starting to pay off. Um, I mean, Samuel Zavala and Thorpe is definitely a lot of value to give up, but Cease, uh, I guess Cease has upside and they need to do something in order to, uh, have a shot in that division. We have a Triana and a CJ Abrams. And I feel like... If they would have waited much longer, the Yankees might have got involved in that uh, in that market and drove the price up a little bit more. So I don't I don't know if the Cole injury had any influence on them going after him at any with with that offer. But I could have definitely seen the Yankees starting to uh, get interested if they found out that the Garrett Cole injury was going to be anything uh, lengthy. We have a virtuosic vibration blaze Jordan. We have one more color card coming up here behind Pacheco. It's a first. Peyton Wilson. Teal first. Peyton Wilson, number 34 of 125. Maybe a future infield mate of uh, Bobby Witt. So two color refractors and a paper refractor and an atomic on the board so far. Let's see if there's any other hits here. We have a Benjamin Bailey and a Noel V. Marte. Uh, Joey, that's – you're talking – Iriate? Who's Iriate? In, in my head, I was thinking you meant Ignacio Alvarez, the Braves prospect, but now that I'm reading that again, I'm thinking maybe not. We have a Nick York, top 100, maybe a major leaguer this year. Ronier Quintero, and another Jonathan Classe. I think that's two Classes on the board in Chrome so far, if I remember correctly. And final pack of our first hobby box. We have a Torque, High Five Futures. There's an Edgar Cuero. Forgot he was in this product. Junior Sanchez and Tristan Casas. I think this was Casas' final Chrome prospect card before he got the uh, call up to the major leagues. All right, let's see. He was one of the pieces the Padres sent over to Chicago. Huge stuff and great velo. Oh, so if they gave up three potentially big players, then that, then that does start to get a little steep. Maybe Thorpe and Zavala, as is, was already borderline expensive, but if they were giving up more big prospects, they uh, the, the Padres seem to love trading prospects. C.J. Abrams, James Wood. Who else? Who else did they give up in uh, in big deals? Um, all right, I'm thinking we go um, hobby again. Does anybody disagree and save the uh, three auto jumbo for the end? If anybody, uh, anybody disagrees, let me know in the chat. But I feel like that makes the most sense. 
Graham Pauly making opening day. <laughs> Made it to Korea. When when is that game? Wednesday? Wow. Can't believe we're having an opening day already. I heard didn't hear any objections in the chat, so we're going to go hobby again. We'll save the uh, three auto jumbo for the end, and we'll see if box number seven gets us off to a hot start with this case. It was a nice start already. Uh, I mean, as, in terms of getting orange, at least. I feel like it's always nice when we get orange out of the hobby. Unfortunately, it was only a Yoandra Canango paper, but the Jose Ramos auto was uh, was a nice way to start the break tonight. So not a huge first box, but a nice first box with the with Ellie on the board already and Ramos getting a hit. Uh, this is where our auto was in the first one. Let's see. I don't remember where exactly what order I took these out in. Let's see, gearing up to put the smack down on Brian Palmer in fantasy. Brian's been telling me a little bit about your fantasy league. It's pretty wild. It's an, that is a deep, deep league. Uh, he asked me. He asked me if I had any favorite deep, uh, deep um, prospects, and I started saying players like Owen Casey, and he was like, "No, that is not even close to deep enough. Those guys, th those type players, are all owned." Christian Hernandez, Invicta, Jose Pastrano, and behind him, stuck to him, Wilman Diaz. I suppose that that starts to happen after uh, a year and a half of, uh, of sitting in a box. We get a little bit of cards sticking together every once in a while. No damage on that one, though, so... Wilman is looking clean for whoever owns Wilman Diaz tonight. Jackson Merrill was going to start in center, so he went for like 30 in draft tonight. Oh, is that what happened there? I saw that Jackson Merrill went a little bit too high for what I would have expected. We have a Joe Ryan Rookie of the Year favorites. He had a minute that year where it looked like that was a possibility. Eduardo Lopez and Brenlin Jaraba getting Chrome. I think again, I think we saw them already in the first box. If, uh, if we have repeats of everybody, that might mean we have another Ellie coming out, which would uh, put Ellie in a real good position in this break already. Zayed Salinas, and behind that, Christian Hernandez Chrome. Gearing. Oh, let's see. How is that? Uh, is that divisions? Do you guys play head to head week by week, or do you do like a season long stat line thing? Emerson Hancock was number 14. I didn't realize he had made it that high, but had a pretty some pretty good uh, games in the majors, if I remember correctly, last year. Ian Lewis and Carlos Aguiar, both on the board for the second time in Chrome. Check out AJ Vukovic uh, as, a, as a deep sleeper. Vukovic, AJ Vukovic. He's not the D-backs guy. That's who's AJ? Is he a Twins prospect from 2020, or a D-backs prospect from 2020? We have a high five futures Bobby Witt there. Junior San Quentin, and behind Junior San Quentin we have Pedro Leon. Seen a lot of repeats in the firsts, but not repeats in the non-first prospects, interestingly. Henry Davis, Virtuosic Vibrations. We have a Blue Wave Refractor coming up here, not in the auto spot. So we'll have a Blue Wave to 150 Refractor, Peyton Wilson, Chrome, and 
Pedro Leon, number 121 of 150. So not hitting our so far. A couple of non-first prospects between Panango and Pedro Leon. I feel like Leon might be a guy, though, that is getting close to Major League ready. He had pretty good double-A stats the last year, if I'm thinking of the right person. Got Bobby Witt doing an interview in the background in the Royals-Brewers game. Anybody have thoughts on uh, college basketball brackets yet? Anybody pick their national champions? D-backs, AJ Vukovic, play the entire week. So week by week in that fantasy league, we have an autograph of Tyler Whitaker. Tyler Whitaker was in the... No, I think he went for a dollar forty-nine. So he went for mid bid, and uh, I like Whitaker a lot as a prospect. So Whitaker spot getting real nice value there. He was an auto only, but number sixty-two of four ninety-nine refractor auto there of Whitaker. Nice hit there for whoever had that spot. Luis Gonzalez and Shalin Polanco Chrome. If I remember correctly, Whitaker is Whitaker the guy that's the country music player or a country music singer. Whitaker Auto going to go up there with the Ramos Auto. We have an MLB and a prospect roster collecting has helped big time. Do you do you guys collect stats on the prospect roster, or do you just have them for future value of uh, what they'll do at the majors? We have a Marco Luciano, top 100. Alvin Guzman and Jordan Walker back on the board. So hopefully we get some variety with these chromes in box number three. Seeing a lot of repeats in the first two boxes. Vin likes Purdue as uh, coming back from their first round upset last year. Colton Kowser Bowman in 3D insert. Should be another guy getting a shot back in the majors this year. Simon Muziati. See if uh, he has any... Tread left in his career. Pedro Pineda started off in the majors last year and uh, didn't really hear much from Muziati in 2023. I haven't had a chance to pick my bracket yet. We have a Jaron Duran, Rookie of the Year favorites. Bobby Witt on the board with Bobby Witt talking in the background. Estevan Machado, and there it is. Two Ellies on the board. Two Ellie Chromes on the board to start us off in the first two boxes. Long Beach State going to win as a 15 seed with the lame duck coach, right? That's a weird situation. Luis Matos, high five futures. I was personally rooting for some Elijah Pepper to uh, to play in the in the tournament. There's a Curtis Mead. There's a warming Bernabelle on the board for the first time. So there's a different name, and Leo Ver Paguero. I uh, would have would have loved to see Elijah Pepper try and play against the two seed. If anybody doesn't know what. Who he is, he is a UC Davis, uh, their all-time leading scorer, Garrett Mitchell, top 100. Curtis Mead on the board for the first time, and Matt Frazier. I was uh, really interested to see where the big-name prospects landed in this product. So I know we had Ellie, we had Mead, we had Colson Montgomery. Uh, Montgomery, I think, landed around $70, which... Um, was about half of Ellie and Mead. I think only landed around thirty-eight. I think that was the biggest shock for me that uh, that there wasn't more demand for Mead, being that he is a huge prospect. There's a Spencer Strider and a Shohei Otani. Um, had a really short stint in the majors last year. Didn't go crazy. Maybe that's uh, the reason his 
demand has dropped a little, but Mead is a uh, super, super high upside player. There's a Torkelson and a Fran Alduy, so starting to see some different names now here in the Chrome Firsts. There was a day where I sold a uh, Curtis Mead Sky Blue Foil first edition for, I think, $90. Sal Frelick Virtuosic Vibrations, Elijah Tatis, and Martin Jimenez. Great competition in this tournament, and there was a record for most losses by number one seed in conference championships. Yep, I, uh, I think it'll be another year with a ton of uh, parity. It should be some... Uh, some exciting low seed wins. We have a blue paper coming. It is Whit Merrifield. I think Whit Merrifield was owned today. Number 101 of 150. So a little blue color match there for the Whit Merrifield owner. Yorabel Angelis and Yoelki Cespedes. Haven't heard Yoelki Cespedes' name in a year. He had a home run in the Futures games, if I remember correctly. Uh, Futures All-Star game was that two years ago and uh, I don't remember hearing his name much since then <laughs> Mem says and that's why you bet stop betting on college hoops it can be tough sometimes we have a Xavier Edwards in the majors I believe still for the Marlins there's a James Wood we'll sleeve up the James Wood paper Lenin Sosa and Yon Kenzie Noel. A couple nice names there. Uh, again, another guy, Sosa. We'll see what happens to him in his second season. See if he gets a shot at the Major League roster again after struggling a bit to begin the season last year. Gotta gotta love the dogs in college in college basketball, Mab. We got a Brady House High Five Futures. Jeremy Vargas. And behind that, and Austin Martin. Still ranks in the top five in the Twins organization, but definitely not the not the level of demand that he was at when he was the what, number three overall pick by the Blue Jays. Jake Berger, Rookie of the Year favorites. Another Edgar Cuero there in paper. Errol Vera and Christian Roa. Let's see, we have six more packs here from our second jumbo box. Um, in case anybody's here early for the 2023 Bowman draft break, I uh, I'm going to create a second stream for that break. So we'll end this stream and then start the next stream um, separately for that. Marcelo Mayer with a Jonathan Clisse. I believe Clisse is on the board three times now in Chrome. From what I saw, Meb, unders were hitting pretty well in conference tournaments, so that might be a good way to lean in uh, – in the, in the uh, NCAA tournament, it looks like we have our Atomic coming up here. Henry Davis, top 100. We have a Junior Sanchez and an upside down Atomic, non-first Jeter down. So tough time with the refractors. Jeter down's now a Yankee. Pretty sure of that. About 95% sure that's true. Jeter Downs is a Yankee now. If anybody, if anybody knows that for sure, feel free to tell me I'm right or wrong in the chat. We have a Shane Baz Bowman in 3D. I think again. Braylon Minier. And behind that, we have Benny Montgomery. Let's 
Three more packs left from the hobby boxes. I think my favorite under, based on what I scanned through, looks like we're going to have a second color paper hit here. Kevin Alcantara, Virtuosic Vibrations. And oh, still no num still no first on the color here. Number 396 of 399, Alvira Lime, Velasquez, and Lisa Raga. Chromes. Um, my favorite under was oh, what was it? I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head. Uh, San Diego State. I think that that over under was in the mid 130s when they when they first released it. I expect that game to play 120s or lower. San Diego State's defense is very good, and UAB plays a slow defensive pace. Doubt that game gets anywhere close to 134. Brennan Davis, high five futures. Diego Cartaya and Luis Rodriguez, couple Dodger prospects. And last pack of the hobby boxes for the night. Cole Reagans will be the opening day starter for KC. That's an interesting one. Nolan Jones, top 100. Emmanuel Rodriguez and Luis Matos finish off our chrome cards at, from our hobby portion. Shift some cards over, and then I'm going to shift us over to our jumbo box. All right, let's shift it over and let's see three autographs out of the jumbo box. First of the case. I haven't posted another 2022 break yet, but I think I will likely be doing, trying to run another one of these, um, Possibly a two jumbo break. And I may run it the same way that I ran this one, which was um, through eBay prior to our Bowman draft break. So for anybody who was a fan of this break or the prospects in this product, um, I will likely be getting another one of these live Tuesday night to, uh, to rip two more jumbo boxes next Sunday as we – Start to get ready for the season. All right. I don't remember exactly how these were ordered. So let's see what we have in our – oh, man, I do remember back in the day. I used to read every paper player's name. We have an O'Neill Cruz Chrome Rookie of the Year favorites. Jason Dominguez High Five Futures and Jason Dominguez Top 100. So some nice names there and some different prospects and firsts here. We got a siren in the background. Let's see what that brings us. We have a Max Muncy Chrome, Malcolm Nunez, Luis Matos, Jose Pastrano, and Eduardo Lopez. So a couple repeats and a new name there. And then paper in the back again. So Chrome of Muncy, Lopez, and Pastrano. And we'll sleeve up our two Dominguez inserts as well as our O'Neill Cruz Rookie of the Year favorites. Excited to see O'Neill Cruz back this season after his injury. Are there any other um, Bowman products that you guys are big fans of that you'd be interested in seeing me uh, go back to uh, past releases and break? I know this was one that a lot of people had mentioned, so I grabbed, a, grabbed the case of this one. Let's see. It looks like we have an, a rookie auto here of a white sock. 
And Gavin Sheets getting a nice one. That one goes to the rookie lot. That was not going to be an easy hit there. And also to Gabriel Arias Invictus. Gavin Sheets getting the base auto. Congrats. Who grabbed the rookie spot? Joe Page, congrats. Let me see. I'm not messing that up, right? He was in there. Uh, rookie. Yeah. Gavin Sheets. Yeah, he was. Ah, why? What's going on here? There we go. Congrats, Joey Page. CJ Abrams, top 100. Cooper Kinney. Yondrick Penango, Brandon Jaraba, Zayed Salinas, and Ian Lewis. So we're seeing a lot of the same names again here. Hopefully we're not leaving too many uh, too many people hitless with these same names popping up over and over again. See Jaraba, Salinas, Ian Lewis, I believe all with three hits on the board now. Gabriel Arias with two Invictus on the board. What are the odds? Gavin Sheets getting a base auto. Nice way to do the auto, and that's a really nice signature too. Let's see. We'll put that on a stand to the side. So Whitaker, Sheets, and Ramos. We actually did. We've done the autos pretty well so far. Can't remember the order that these went in. Woman Diaz, Virtuosic, Henry Davis, High Five Futures, and Nick Lodolo, Top 100. That did age well. Raquel De Castro. Alan Serta, Carlos Aguiar, Junior San Quentin, Peyton Wilson, and back to our papers. There is always that chance of the rookie autos in uh, the first release of the year, Bowman Products. And uh, Gavin Sheets getting the hit tonight. All right. So we have one autograph out of the middle row. I probably should have opened uh, all of the middle row packs next. Let's see what we have here. See if we have an auto. Possibility. I don't think we're going to, though. Cal Raleigh, Rookie of the Year favorites. Austin Martin, High Five Futures, and Grayson Rodriguez, Top 100 Prospects. Luis Rodriguez, Woman Diaz, Matt Frazier, Fran Aldui, Elijah Tatis. A lot of the same names again. Oh, there was Jackson Churio. Let's leave that paper card up. And Adele Amador. Not a first, but Adele Amador been playing well for the Rockies throughout his uh, last year or so in the system 180 of 499 on the sky blue paper for Amador Tatis Aldui and Matt Frazier okay so there should not be if I remember the order correctly any more autos in the second rows or maybe all of the autos are going to be in the second rows let's see which way it, is. it goes Mm, can't tell. One base auto on the board so far. Waters top 100, and it looks like maybe the answer is no autos in this in this row and the rest of the packs. Uh, Christian Hernandez, Pedro Leon, Martin Jimenez, Yerbel Angeles, and Lenin Sosa. Trey Sweeney with our Invicta. And a couple more repeats here in the Chromes with 
Martin Jimenez, Yurabel Angeles, and Sosa. Looks like all inserts there in uh, the Helicuna Virtuosic. Adley High Five Feud. Let's see, two more rows, two more autos. Let's go to the middle row in this one and see if my theory that if there's one in the middle row, there's not going to be any others in the middle row is right. Looks like this is going to be all inserts. Marcelo Mayer, Bowman in 3D. Spencer Torkelson, High Five Futures, and Jeter Downs Top 100. So a couple nice names there. Sal Frelick on the board for the first time. Helio Ramos, Junior Sanchez, Braylon Minier, and Diego Velasquez. Saw a little bit of Khalil Watson there. I don't think we've said his name yet in Chrome. And uh, Khalil Watson, I believe, part of the Twins organization now. Hork and Marcelo, two nice names and inserts there. Let's see. Meb saying, hit me that. Uh, I forgot how to pronounce his name, but Pomagiani Auto. He's going to be in the bigs this year. Is, was Pomagiani a, a D backs prospect? Uh, yes, Bob, there is another break at 10 p.m. tonight. That's going to be a Bowman draft break. So uh, we will end this stream before we start the next one, just because I only wrote uh, 2022 Chrome on this one. Uh, that looks like it's going to be a paper card. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this stream, and I'll restart a separate stream when we get started with that 23 draft break. We have a Rodolfo Castro Rookie of the Year favorites. All right, looks like we have... An auto here, possibly, of a Mariner. Giancarlo Stanton, number 55 of 150, blue paper. And, ooh, not, oh, it is an auto. Adam Mako. And I believe that goes to the auto only spot. So, auto only spot getting a hit and the rookie spot getting a hit in our autos in this box. Mako is number 135 of 250 on the purple auto. Josh Young, top 100. And we're going to get a second refractor here. Brennan Davis, Ronnie Marusio, Ronier Quintero. Is that going to be Met Colors? Jonathan Classe. And it is Roberto Dominguez, orange number 50 of 75. Uh, yellow number 50 of 75. So the Met pitching prospect getting a yellow mini diamond refract refractor there. I think Classe has four hits on the board now. Real big night for Classe in uh, his chrome hits. And a lot of color in one pack there. We go a whole lot of packs without hitting any color, and then we hit three refractors in one pack. So Mako getting our fourth autograph of the five we're going to pull tonight. Robert Dominguez getting a nice low-numbered first hit there. And uh, Giancarlo Stanton getting a blue paper refractor there, numbered to 150. Let's see. We should not have another auto here. The auto, I think, actually should be in the bottom pack in the last row. So that'll keep it exciting right till the end. If I'm guessing correctly, Austin Hendrick, Virtuosic Vibrations, Jordan Lawler, Top 100, Chrome of Brett Beatty, Tyler Soderstrom, Victor Lizarraga for the third time tonight, Diego Cartaya, and Emmanuel Rodriguez, I believe, all for the third time. A 
Blue Jays, says Meb uh, Pamagiani. Yes, that is correct. All right. If I'm guessing correctly, we're not going to have autos in the top two packs here. Let's see if I'm right. One purple, one base auto so far out of this box. We are going to have a speckle refractor here. Reed Detmers, Rookie of the Year favorites. Brady House, top 100. Edgar Cuero finally getting on the board in chrome. Ed Howard. Luis Gonzalez, Alvin Guzman, and Luke Waddell. First time saying his name tonight. Luke Waddell, speckle, numbered 299, uh, 288 of 299. Double Edgar Cuero pack with chrome and paper. Two more packs, one more order to go. Let's see. Doesn't look like we have an auto here, so should be saved for the last pack. Always like when that happens. We have a Pedro Leon. Let me just shift over this paper pile a little bit. Pedro Leon Bowman in 3D, Leo Verpaguero, High Five Futures, and Jackson Rutledge, top 100. Jordan Lawler, Colton Kowser, Jordan Walker on the board for the third time. Simon Muziati for the second time in this box, as well as Estevan Machado. And final pack of the break. We will recap the hits right after this one. Before we shift it over to 2023 Bowman Draft. If anybody's joined in the last couple of minutes for that Bowman Draft break, uh, I just mentioned a couple minutes ago, I'm going to end this stream right after this break ends and I'll start another stream. Uh, looks like we're going to get blue for our final auto of the break. So our low numbered auto is going to be our last card of the break. Always love that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start a separate stream for the 2023 Bowman draft break, our second Ellie paper to go along with two Ellie chromes. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's put the auto in the back. We have a Bryson Stott top 100 prospects. Marcelo Mayer, Benny Montgomery, a third Ellie De La Cruz chrome. So not a bad night for the Ellie spot. Warming Bernabelle, Curtis Mee. That's a nice pack. All right, we have a Marcelo My uh, Marco Luciano, excuse me. And it looks like maybe Cubs colors. Oh, another one of the auto onlys. So two auto onlys and a rookie auto here. Pablo Aliendo, catcher, catching prospect for the Cubs, number 81 of 150. I don't remember ever pulling an Aliendo or a Mako auto. How weird is that? All right, let me put – actually, we had three auto onlys hit out of the five autographs, a Gavin Sheets rookie and Jose Ramos. The second pack of the night was the only player who was in the base checklist – and also pulled an auto tonight. Let's get our third Ellie Chrome sleeved up. And let's get to the recap of this break. Appreciate everybody joining the first break of the night. Like I mentioned, I'm going to try and get another, another variation of this 2022 Bowman Chrome running next week. This is definitely... Uh, a big product with a lot of big names of players who have started making their major league debuts or are very close to making their major league debuts. So definitely a fun product to rip. Hopefully next time we see some bigger names in ink, but Whitaker, Whitaker and Ramos are a nice one for sure. And get the Gavin sheets. Rookie wasn't bad either. Mako and Aliendo. I'll have to look into to see if they've done much in their uh, minor league careers so far. All right, recapping this one, the Curtis Mead base chrome, Luke Waddell speckle numbered to 299, Giancarlo Stanton blue paper, Roberto Doming uh, Robert Dominguez, yellow uh, mini diamond number 50 of 75, 
Adele Amador Sky Blue, Aral Vera Lime Green Papers, Jeter Downs Atomic, Whit Merrifield Blue Paper, Curtis Mead with another base chrome, Dory Lorenzo Refractor to 499 chrome, Pedro Leon Blue Wave to 150 chrome, Peyton Wilson uh, Teal to 125, Yondrick Penango Orange Paper 11 of 25, Alexander Vargas Atomic, and then going across the back, we had our Adam Mako, Purple Refractor Auto, Gavin Sheets, Base Rookie Auto, Tyler Whitaker with the Refractor Auto, number 62 of 499, Pablo Alienda with a little color match blue there with the Cubs jersey, 81 of 150, Jose Ramos, probably the hit of the break, standalone-wise, the home Jose Ramos Base Auto, and then... Triple Ellie De La Cruz's three Ellie Chrome card hits on the board, as well as two paper cards. Oh, kaboom! No, I didn't even remember saying Colson Montgomery's name once. Unfortunately, Cody, glad I can get you the Curtis Chromes. Uh, I'm gonna send that auto. Yes. Indeed, Cody. I was going to message you separately and double check that that was that that you were the same person that that was going to. Oh, missed out on him, so it's all good. All right, I am going to end this stream, and I'm immediately going to start up another stream for the 2023 Bowman Draft Break. So, thanks everybody who joined this one, and we'll see everybody in just a second for a 2023 draft.